Hi everyone, welcome to another update from Parkinson's Queensland. Uh, this week I'll just share a couple of updates uh, with you and, uh, and some information about some upcoming uh, activities that we're undertaking. But I'll kick off uh, by letting you know that our Connections newsletter went out electronically to, um, to you last week and the hard copy version will be going out this week via Australia Post. So check your inbox uh, and check your letterbox later this week. Depending on how you choose to receive it, uh, you should um, get one uh, or the other of those this week. Some great stories uh, and articles in the newsletter. And of course, if you've got any suggestions for stories for the next edition, please let us know, uh, or if there's any information that you'd like us um, to share, or perhaps you want to share your own personal story uh, of your Parkinson's journey, please get in contact with us. We're always looking for, um, for new stories for our newsletter. Uh, now, a few uh, developments, a few updates on developments. Uh, we, we're well underway now to starting the process for the development of our newly diagnosed program. Uh, you may be aware, those of you that have been uh, keeping up to date with previous messages, that Michelle Stafford, our Community Engagement Officer, has now moved across to manage our Education and Awareness Unit. Uh, that, uh, that means that our newly diagnosed program uh, has started its development phase and we'll be reaching out to, um, to the community for feedback on that um, over the next few months. So that's well underway. Um, we're also speaking with the Queensland Brain Institute and we're hoping to do some joint seminars later this year, uh, particularly in regional parts of Queensland. Uh, we've got a great partnership with QBI and um, we're looking forward to working with them, hopefully to deliver at least a couple of joint seminars this year um, and uh, then we'll work through the rest of the year. So um, I'll, um, I'll have more to say about those once we lock in the venues and the dates for those seminars, but they will be um, later in the year. Um, some activities to highlight, um, we've got um, Doug, and Ruth, Ital uh, Doug and Ruth's Italian uh, journey. Um, you may, if you, if you stay up to date with our social media, you may have seen some information about their amazing thousand kilometre walk uh, through Italy. I mean, if you're going to walk a thousand kilometres, that's probably not a bad place to do it. Uh, they're going to do it over 45 days. They've already fundraised close to two and a half thousand dollars. So if you'd like to support their walk, um, you can jump on our website. That there's a link there, and it'll take you to their fundraising page. Um, we're all um, we're all cheering them on. Um, we, uh, we we've got some great uh, photos from them uh, through their journey, which we've been sharing with all of you. So please support them. It's an incredible uh, feat that they're undertaking, a thousand kilometres in uh, in a little over a month and a half through Italy, so please support them. Um, the, uh, the other um, activity that's coming up, not till October of course, is the Bridge to Brisbane, and uh, we, we've sent out some information already. For the first time uh, this year, Parkinson's Queensland is a charity partner of the Bridge to Brisbane. That means that any of you can join to walk or run, depending on how, how fit and how keen you are, um, to run or walk the bridge to Brisbane in October, the 15th of October, as a matter of fact, Sunday the 15th. Uh, if you're not in Brisbane, you can also choose to join the bridge to Brisbane virtually. So you'll be able to choose your distance, four and a half kilometres or 10 kilometres. You can do it um, on the day or you can do it virtually wherever you are in Queensland and you can uh, nominate Parkinson's Queensland as your charity of choice for fundraising. So we're really excited to be part of an iconic event uh, here in, uh, in the southeast corner of Queensland. So um, again, all of the information for that is uh, on our website. So you can click on the link and it will take you to, um, to the appropriate site. Um, and the other event that we've got coming up in July, if you're on the Sunshine Coast, um, there'll be another walk uh, up there. I'll have more to say about that uh, in coming uh, episodes of our updates. But there is another walk up on the Sunshine Coast on Sunday the 23rd of July. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, more information to come. That's all from me for this week. Uh, of course, as always, we're here to support you. So please feel, feel free to reach out. Um, whether it's one of the team, if you need information or support, or if you want to talk to our Parkinson's nurse, Steph, please just contact the office 
and, um, and we're more than happy to take your call and help you. That's why we're here. Um, but also to put a call out to all of you that um, we are still looking for Parkinson's stories. So we want to hear from you. If you're willing to share your story, whether you're a person living with Parkinson's, caring for someone with Parkinson's or a family or friend, if you want to share your story of that Parkinson's journey, please get in touch with us. That's all from me for this week. I'll see you at the next one. Bye for now.